bypassing a separated instrument, is it possible? One of the main drawbacks in the endodontics and rotary instrumentation is separation of instruments. There are many causes of fracturing instruments, using an instrument many times, working in severely curved areas, not using a lubricant or irrigant, and not using the rotary system in sequential order. How instruments fracture? In straight canals, we don't have a problem with fracture because there is no exertion of a lot of stress on the file. But in, in curved canals, especially in double curved areas, there, there will be a possibility of separation because there will be a lot of stress in these curved areas and separation usually happens in the apical area. Whenever we've got a circular cross-section of a root canal, the instrument fractures leaving very little space for bypassing this instrument. But when we've got an elliptical shaped uh, canal, the fractured instrument will leave space buccally and lingually for bypassing. So in the circular area, it is difficult to bypass, but in the elliptical, it is much easier. Procedure of bypassing, first of all, we have to analyze the position of, of the fracture by x-ray. It's essential to see where is the fracture. Is it entangled a, a lot with the dentine? Are there spaces? Is there a loose end or tip? All these are very important to un understand. Second, we have to use lubricant and irrigation. This is mandatory because we need all the lubrication we need so that our instrument can enter freely. Widen the area coronal to the separation by gates clipton burrs. It's important to widen the area coronal to the separation so that this area will be a reservoir for the lubricants and will ease our visibility to the separated instrument. Use of the ISO size 8 or 10 to negotiate the area of the fracture because these are very fine instruments that may bypass the fractured instrument. Using watch winding motion is important to prevent the entanglement of the size 8 file inside the dentine or between the dentine and the separated area. Always we have to start buccally or lingually to the separated instrument. Never use force because if we do we will block the very tiny spaces that may have been left for our favor to bypass. Analyzing this separated instrument, it is evident that it is between the apical and the middle third region. Widening to the, of the coronal third area will allow more irrigation and lubrication. The negotiation of the size 8 and 10 beside the fractured instrument allowed the bypass, then size 15 enters and then after that rotary instrumentation starts and thermophil obturation was used for obturation. This is another case whereby an instrument was bypassed. 
again coronal widening is mandatory this is another instrument that's separated in the epical region negotiation of the size 8 to the epical area is mandatory and this is done by first of all coronal widening and a lot of irrigation and slight watch winding motion between uh, near to the separated area and this is another case whereby there's a separation and it was bypassed and as we can see here there is the sealer puff indicating that the obturating material reached the epical area without uh, a problem. 